What's up, cows? Y'all about ready to go for a ride? Are you a little bit sad? Eh. Yeah. Eh. Ready for next year? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, as you can see, we're out here with the uh, with the cattle today. So, this is a day that we all knew was coming. Everyone, we probably had a thousand questions of what are you going to do with the two show heifers after show season was over. Well, today's the day we all find out, or you all find out where the heifers are going so we'll just start from the beginning these two heifers came to us back in december from a cousin of mine and uh, he raises a lot of show cattle and we got them pretty late for show season but that's all right and they went through kids emily in houston put in a lot of work to halt to break them it was interesting wasn't it yeah to say the least and uh, next year we're going to start a little bit earlier and get some heifers earlier in the show season but both the kids went through and did the uh, the murray county junior livestock show went through the premium sale and all that so we're finished with our end of these two heifers and we're going to be sending them back to my cousin and uh there's there's a little bit more of the story than what i've told you so butterscotch here is going to be going back and she will be bred more than likely she's going to go through uh, an AI they'll probably flush her out and put in some embryos from another show cow or maybe just AI or to a bull I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna do but she will definitely become a a good breeding cow then we have our little friend Pearl here we need that's the one we kind of have to talk about a little bit Pearl has come a long ways don't get me wrong she's a little skittish right now but hang on, i think i zoomed in so pearl when pearl was born she was born a twin and we've all there's i don't know the science behind all of this but about 99.9 percent .9 of the time when you have twins if a bull calf is born first and then the heifer calf the heifer calf will be infertile and they're called that's what's called a free martin so pearl here was never really planned to become a breeding cow and that's really not too bad of a, a situation considering she's a little bit more shifty a little bit more flighty and uh, she never really was just as calm and gentle as butterscotch but really in the big scheme of life 99.9 percent .9 of cows are never show cattle so she's not spooky and wild but she doesn't have the temperament that butterscotch has that they want to carry on so that means pearl is going to get fed out for the rest of the spring and summer and then do you know what's going to happen to pearl probably what's your first guess butcher yeah she'll go the processor actually she's already got a processing date set not for us we're not going to be a uh, processing her here we've already got uh whopper well on the way and he's got a processing date scheduled for us and the rest of our family this year but uh yeah so today's video we're going to load these two girls up in the trailer and we're going to take them back down to uh the farm where they came from and unload them and he's going to do what he wants to do with them and butterscotch will get bred soon and she'll be a mom by this time next year or well well before this time next year probably ain't that right butterscotch so while both of these heifers are halter broke, I thought this would be a good time to test out my little alleyway system that we built with the pins on the back of the barn to get livestock from here through the barn and over to the corral. So instead of trying it out for the first time on cattle that have never been worked with or messed with, I think what we'll do is pin all these up and then try to sort out the two heifers over there in the corral. If you, if you hadn't noticed, Rufus is in here with them. He keeps wanting to get to his lady friends over there so we've just separated him this has always been well not always but typically this has been what i called the bro pin so we kept like big mac in here and now whopper and isaac and rufus kind of where we keep our our males at that's why uh our little friend kane's in here because we're separating kane he's actually fixing to go to a new home real soon so 
You guys want to help me uh, get these heifers loaded up? Yeah. All right. Go get a bucket of feed, and we'll dump a little bit of feed out in the barn. That's the easiest way to get everybody down there instead of trying to run them in. We don't want to herd them in there. I have a question for you, Emily. What? Why are you wearing shorts? It's just March. It's hot outside. Is it? Yeah. 75 degrees and sunny is hot for you, huh? Yeah. Look at there. There you go, young man. Whopper's already making his way in. Here, just feed him in here, Emily. And then I'll go behind him and shut the gate. Let's go, girls. Come on. Whopper, go in the barn and eat. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rufus, you don't need to go in there. All right, Emily. Lock the gate. We do have one extra. We don't need him in there. That's all right. Well, Butterscotch, we got y'all in here. What do you think, Whopper? So if we have to run everybody down the alleyway, it's not that big a deal. Kane, we don't want to get little Kane hurt, so we'll try to separate him out in here. But if Whopper and everybody goes down the alleyway into the corral, not that big a deal. We can separate them out over there, so. Emily, you're gonna have to move out of the way, sis. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Bella, move, get. Bella, go, 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 Bella. All right, let's see how this works. Maybe we can keep little Kane separated. Come on, Pearl. Come on, Pearl. Come on, Pearl. Hey, that's good. That's good. We got Whopper separated. Come on, Butterscotch. Turn. Let's go. Perfect. Perfect. Follow her, Butterscotch. Good job. Hey, Emily. Um, we can let them out now if you want. I'll take care of these girls. Come on, butterscotch. Good girl. Good girls. Hey, you little farts are gonna need to move. That's, that's a dangerous place for a baby goat. Go, Bella. Let's go, little goat. Hey, you went the wrong way. Back me up. Emily? Sure. You need to line this little gate up. Just back straight up. So nothing can get through it, including me. I can't fit. I can get through that. <laughs> well, I can't. So that worked out pretty flawlessly. Now these heifers are like they're very gentle. They are halter broke. We could have just put a halter on them, and uh, 
let them up in the trailer like we did a couple weeks ago but i wanted to show you guys what one of my extended purposes for this alleyway were for you know we built it so we could have a place to walk behind and feed and water and not get hammered by all the goats really but it is a great way to move animals from one pasture to the other or you know when they're on the far side of the barn over there it's hard to get them to the corral and now these two heifers are right back where they started off on our farm aren't they emily mm -hmm. think you can turn them and get them to go down the alleyway come on butterscotch let's go let's go here i'll just follow them they shouldn't have any problem going up in the trailer as easy they lo as they loaded when they were on the halters we're gonna miss you butterscotch but you're gonna be a good mama come on pearl come on butterscotch come on let's go girls let's go no problem at all good girls we're gonna go see some of y'all old friends and family hey pearl excuse me i need a few inches and some oil on that latch ta-da ready to go hello that was easy well, girls, you've been really good to us. It's been a lot of fun. We're gonna take you back to see some, some cows you came from. Yep, I'm excited. I'm happy for you, Butterscotch. You're gonna be a good mama. Oh, Pearl. Well, poor Pearl. That gimmick. Hate it for you. Whopper's a little upset with me. He lost his girls again. Say bye to your friends, Whopper. Here he comes. He said, what are you doing to my friends? <gasps> that was so sad. Separating him from his girls. But need to sleep, wouldn't it? Yeah. Did girls make the ride okay? You getting excited? You hearing some some familiar sounds? Smelling some familiar sounds? Smells? I got bad news for you, buddy. 
It's just going to be you and Rufus in there for a while. I mean, Kane's in there now, but he ain't going to be there long. But your girls, yeah, they're, they're with some other cows. Yeah. I know. It sucks. What's up, buddy? What you doing, Earl? Hmm? There you go, it's all back. I left the gate open so y'all could go out and graze. And every one of you's here. Oh, no, we're gonna stay in there now. Yeah, we're gonna stay in now. Come on. Baby goat's good everywhere. Her old mama goat, she's still struggling. Oh, hey! She wasn't struggling that much until you knocked her down. Stand up. There you go. So there you have it. That marks the end of the kids' first show heifers. Their first experience showing livestock. I don't know if you guys can still hear Whopper. He's going crazy. He's a little upset with me for taking his ladies away from him. But uh, I, overall, I think it was a shoe success. I had a great time with it. The kids enjoyed it. You guys seem to enjoy it. And I think for sure we'll be continuing on with the, the livestock stuff for the heifer, the show heifers. And uh, maybe some other stuff. I don't know what we'll do. But uh, I, my mama goat, as you can see, is still struggling. The one that couldn't walk at all. She can walk now. She just really struggles and then it doesn't help when another doe comes and knocks her down. But uh, anyways, yeah, Pearl, has just got a few more months. She's gonna be going to the processor this summer, but uh, the legacy of Butterscotch will continue on. I think he's gonna go ahead and breed her. I don't know what he's gonna breed her to. He was talking to Emily, I didn't video at all, but he was talking to Emily trying to get her involved in it and what kind of bull they should breed her to and what kind of genetics that would match up with her and all that stuff so the thing with heifers butterscotch is technically young enough that she could also be shown next year as a two-year-old bred heifer and uh, if you timed it just right you can go in you can get them and have them heavy bred go into the show ring before they're two years old and uh, they do really well but I don't know if that's what we'll do with butterscotch or not. We haven't made it that far. We may, you know, may see more butterscotch later on. But uh, anyways, I'm very proud of the kids. I'm very excited for what the future holds with them and, and showing cattle and stuff. So anyways, now for the goats. We're just getting these babies up big enough and then we'll be uh, dispersing some of the herd. But uh, anyways, I think I may put together, if I can find enough clips, I may put together a little montage of what it was like over the last, say, I guess, what, four months now, close to four months with our, our show heifer experience. But uh, it's been quite a ride. The kids learned a lot. If you'll go back and watch some of those old videos when we first got those heifers, Houston was scared to death. And going into that show ring, Houston still had a little bit of that. But you could see a total transformation of him through the first, the second he stepped into that show ring, through winning his class, and then going back in for the premium sale, his confidence just built so much and uh, Pearl came a long way. She was a wild, crazy little heifer when we first got her and she did really, really, really well in the show ring. So I was proud of him for that and Emily has kind of been bitten by the bug, I think. She's very competitive, but uh, anyways, guys, if I get enough fo footage put together, you'll see a montage here. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Gonna unload these two little ladies into the corral and that's where they're going to stay for a while until we can start working with them get them halter broke a little bit emily are you excited yeah i'm cold though yeah it is kind of cold so.